Hey guys, Max here, welcome to the second part of Neo. In the last episode, we rushed through the tutorial level as quickly as possible, because now we're actually at the meat and bones of the game. I need to start my timer. Before I begin my preparations for landfall, I leave once more through that curious book I had chanced upon, recorded inside of the memoirs of a ninja named Naruto, who wanted to become something known as a Hokage. Precisely how this document wound up in the hole of the ship was its author, when its author clearly belonged to the crew of a different boat is beyond me, but here I am, pouring over its pages all the same, but not for the... the but not for the first time this voyage, I may add. What fascinated me above all else were the memoirs, many accounts of Zipangu's diverse armor. Da -da -da. So this is how the game actually lets you choose what weapons you want. And I know what y'all are thinking. I'm gonna get this. And normally, yes, you're right. But then I discovered something cool. This sucker. I never can say this name right. What's this? Oh yeah, that's like the Calvary Katana. This is the Kusari Gama. And it is one of the nastiest weapons in real life ever. Just look at it. It's just, it's brutal. Is that sprite moving? Yes, it is moving. I was like, wait. I'm like, going nuts. <laughs> but, um, this thing, a weapon that combines a sickle and weighted chain, master this unusual weapon requires a deep understanding of many special techniques. The sickle allows for quick strikes and close range, and the chain weight can be thrown at range to weapons, offensive repertoire. This is the only weapon I've used in the game. Well, okay, I got um, I got a bow and a gun, but we'll go over that later. The sailor from the memoir was like, <gasps> the sailor from the memoir seemed to have spent quite some time in Zapangu and succeeded in keeping the company of samurai. He writes a detail of establishments of Hong called Dojo, where people, including samurai, congregate for instruction in the martial disciplines. Just reading the sailor's vivid accounts, I feel as though I'm there in the flesh, watching these stories as they train. These war, these warriors, these, these warriors. The samurai has mastered any armaments and trains are common every imaginable scenario. If I use another weapon, which one would I choose? And this other game asks you, like, alright, what if you didn't have that first one, smarty pants? And normally then I chose the, um, dual swords, but, um... I, yeah, sure, I'll choose dual swords. I'm never gonna use them. I'm gonna make it a point. Never use them. Yeah, I went well with Dark Souls 3, right? Uh, the member also asserts that samurai are knowledgeable in the martial arts. First, they know which fine stance to use in each situation, high, mid, or low. Second, after each attack, they ready themselves to the next act by focusing their Kai, or inner energy. Third, once their Kai is readied, the samurai can use purification techniques to rid their surroundings of malevolence. I don't know how to explain what those are, I'm some innate ability to grasp all these concepts, I've experienced many times with each technique. The memoir states that Pongo is home to 8 million gods. That's nuts. Can you that cloud's figure was derived, I can only imagine, but as I cast my gaze to shore, I'm struck by a sensation that some mystical power has been watching over me. His energy reminds me of Seors. 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 I hold the memory once more, and they serve each page until I arrive at the garden tree that best matches the force I'm sensing. So, as much as, um. So, yeah, basically, we escape and we're going to Japan to find the guy who took Seros, who was Edward Kelly. So, we got this wolf and guardian spear, the fundamental. Strengthening the attack power, uh, ability to sense enemies, that's cool, or, like, the one that's actually good, this one. That's the one I got last time. And, uh, they're like, hey, you really sure about this, bro? And I'm like, yeah, bro. Um, hang on a sec, though. I don't know why the moment I start every episode, I immediately get, oh, if you we will complain to you, we should begin to troll. No! Screw that, I don't need that. But yeah, I immediately get sneezy. The dinghies have been ready for us to make landfall. For all I've read in this country, nothing could truly prepare me for what now lies ahead. I put the memoir down and leave my cabin. Kirishima is the tiny island off the coast of Usuki in Kishibango province. There is little in the way of a usable land with the coastline rapidly giving way to cliffs and mountains. The interior is such a small villages, residents, Eki, 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 so, remember last episode I joked that this is the story of Williams, oh, this is Neo, the story of William, who is the world's first weeaboo. That's literally it. He found a manga, read it, and is like, I am now a warrior. He also looks like he's straight out of The Witcher, but, whoa. God, I forgot how pretty this game was. This game really is pretty. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so... April 1600. Yeah, so it's like years later, but um, there we go, Spice Kusurigama. So now, yep, now I got my boy. Pretty great. 
Alright. You get small spirit stone. Go over here. Yeah, later on you can like push down that ladder, looks like. Alright, so... I love this weapon so much. And I feel awkward for talking because I don't want to interrupt the dude. Oh, that's a bottomless cliff right there. Alright, so... Real quick, let me explain the stances just for everyone. So you got... High, me it's um, bottom right, look at the bottom right. There's high, m medium, and low. High is like really big, really exaggerated, kind of longer range, really aggressive. Medium is meant for like hitting multiple targets. And um, low is meant to be like rapid fire and very close. The thing with the Kasari Gama though is like, Okay, so yes, it still follows those themes. Oh, and by the way, the one on the right, that's just sheath in the weapon. It follows those themes, but at the same time, it doesn't. It's it's definitely the trick weapon of all of them. They're all very straightforward, except for the Kusari Gama, which is so exciting. Then we got a Spirit Guardian, and I chose him because he, um... Yeah, you, when you turn him on, you get more, um, speed. And he has like other various effects. And if you level him up, you get more stuff. It's pretty great. And then we got here. Things I want. Well, I want more skill. And I want more dexterity and magic. So, uh, skill. I'm stifling a burp. And then you got, um, over here. Hold on. Status. Skills. We'll go over this more later. Um, learn skills. I have no skills of any kind. Oh, wait, I do. So, um, this game also... See, I'm talking about this because the game doesn't tell you. It just kind of, like, figure it out, and you're just like, okay, I guess. So this game has combos and stuff like that. But you only really get it, um... You only get it as you gain levels. And you gain love Or you gain skill points... By putting levels into, like, Dexterity will give you more Samurai points, which is what I'm looking at right now, and stuff like that. And it's nuts. There is so much going on in this game, and there's, like, for mid or low stance only, for high stance only, there's all these different combos, and it's nuts. <laughs> it's just absolutely nuts. And when I first played it, I had no idea what to do. But now I sort of do? Uh, kicks the enemy. I want that. I want that. So now I can grapple an enemy who's out of key, I guess. Uh, kicks the enemy. So, square R1. Yep. Alright, that's gonna be a really good guard break. You can see on my mini-map, it shows shrine. Let's get started. <sighs> now I can finally, like, stop rushing. Stop, like, you know, just talking my brain out. And, like, explaining stuff. But we can just... Oh. Just live the game. Live the story. Let's say hi to that one dude. He seems nice. Hello, my friend. You do not seem very nice. I lied. But that's okay. Doink. And doink, 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 doink. Meat grinder action. And I can just throw this. And he is done. That's why I love this weapon so much. Just because you got this, like, perfect little, this... Foip, foip. And you can just use it. Endlessly. And it's great. <laughs> and don't think it's like, oh, so you can just cheese people the entire time? Not necessarily. Not necessarily at all. Um, Mariners, yeah, it's not like medium or anything, so I'll switch it out. I think we'll stick medium with medium to light armor this run. Oh, that's money. I need that. Um, yeah, it's like... How do I describe this? So Dark Souls, you feel very solid. You have a shield. Oh, this is um, Isuke the Brick. Yeah, so this is how you can like summon. Yeah, I'll summon him for fun just to show him. You can summon people to fight and they're like fallen samurai. Whoop. Which is like in Dark Souls. How um, wow, I guess I can cheese. Yeah, there we go. Oh. He almost dodged me. Uh, I don't know what you're doing, sir, so I'm just gonna do that. 
And you get cool bright. So it's their way of um doing like PvP, you can fight other people's avatars and stuff. But That's the meat grinder. So it's a way of people fighting his avatars. It's pretty cool. Uh what is? Okay, I think we're good. So how do I describe this game? In Dark Souls, you have a level of armor, you have a shield, and you feel very solid. In Bloodborne, you have the same base. I'm gonna nail them. Like that. Suck it. Eventually there's enemies that um There's enemies that don't fall for this trick, but I seems like I can really abuse it right now. Seems like I can really abuse it right now. Oops. My bad. Let me try that again. Oh. Boink. Oh. There we go. Boop. Boop. Oh yeah, I can do this now. It's like a nice finisher. Pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of took it for granted. Oh. Oh, sweet. And then there are these guys. These little guys. And I think there's like five in every level. I forget. I forget how many there are. Or if it like even tells you. Or oh I have ninja points, I didn't realize that. Um we'll go over that later. But uh so this game It's the only way I can think of to describe it is it takes the base that you had in Bloodborne, the idea of super fast combat. And like, you have a gun, and the gun isn't really meant to just shoot people, the gun is meant to like, distract, or stun, or... Uh... Ah, uh, crap! I was more thinking of the story, like, oh my goodness, you know, like, that was... Oh. Shrink. Oh. Ah, oh, crap, you got me. Ah, oh, crap, you got me again. A little better heal up, rush forward, and then... Blah, 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 blah. My bad, I was being careless. But, um, how Bloodborne is like super fast, it's super reactionary, and it's like hardcore the entire time. Inversely, or I, I shouldn't say inversely, similarly, you have Neo, which is like, I imagine the only way to really describe Neo, oh, I thought there was a cave back there or something, I was like, ah, cool. The only way I can think of to really describe Neo. Can I jump on top of that? Jump! Oh, you can't. You can't actually jump in this game. Okay, that sucks. The only. Hold on. That was sweet. Okay. The only way I can think of to describe Neo is that someone took that concept of that very, very fast gameplay and then said, what if you can have different stances? Okay, this is good. Okay, so we go over here. Wait, what? Uh oh! Screw you! Screw you! Screw! Oh. I almost got away with that. Now I did just get away with that. Neither of those guys noticed. So it's all good. Grab the loot. Get some good stuff. Oh, actually, um. Uh, appears that I got some. Oh, those are. L? M? I think. Oh, no, L is light. I was just like, wait, hang on. Um, yeah, let's go with, um, yeah, get that all, all good. And, um, yeah, here's the dual swords, and then here's a spear, but I only want my Kusarigama. Shortcut, uh, speeds up key recovery. Okay, that's pretty useful, actually. Oh, ah, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can nail him. First, I gotta switch. Boop, boop. Oh, serious? I was gonna say, if that guy seriously did not notice. Switch! Oh, I actually meant to switch there, but that works out. Let me get- Ah! Oh, son of a gun. Let me get close. And just wipe him out. We haven't been fighting demons yet. These are just dudes. That's a cool thing. But it's like someone took Bloodborne and then said, what if we can add different stances and add combos and have like eight times the number of items? Like there's a lot of items in Bloodborne. There's a lot of items in Dark Souls. There's a lot of different like tools and abilities and magics and it's awesome. And Neo said, what if we add more? Not to like confuse the player, but to be like, 
Uh, that guy looks like he's actually wearing some decent armor. That's the views that I miss. Oh yeah, he's wearing some real armor. He's a smarty pants. Yeah, he's a smarty pants. Uh, oh. No, come on. Flip, uh. flip. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You out of stamina. I don't think that'll kill him. Nope. But I might as well just meat grind on him. Oh. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Actually, I did not mean to do that. Ha oh, I actually drank my stamina, whatchamacallit. Doink. My bad, bro. Well, I better make sure it gets some good use. Better just run headfirst into whatever danger I can find. I'm gonna use the medicine just to be safe, though. There's a dude there, but I bet it's a, I bet it's a, it's a trapioni. Oh, yep. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> ah! Dang it. Well, I got an actual counter thing now, so that's one. God, I gotta go get my money back. I know what's even worse. So you notice in the top left, there used to be like that little spirit hawk thing. Now that's gone. Actually, wait, hold on, I want to check something real quick. So yeah, you keep your money, uh, the ability to receive Kadama Blessing. Uh, here it is. Oh yeah, so this level has nine total of those other guys. And what they do is um, they give you like these little blessings and you pick one. And they're all things like um, weapon drop rates, elixir drop rates, material drop rates. There's only really two you want to care about though. And that's um, Amrita, which is like your souls and elixir, which is like your medicine. Those are the only ones you care about. Those other ones, hey, if you're collecting, good on you. If not, you know? But, um, I'll continue my thought once I get back. All right, so I got my money back, and you get your spirit, you get your spirit weapon back, which, yes, I can turn the spirit weapon on any time, but I'm not, and I'll explain why in a second. Oh, wait, the other guys didn't come, okay. There we go. But um, I'm trying to think like the best way to describe this game, because it really is. Let's take blood, oh crap, there's a lot of dudes. I'm trying to attract only one, it's real tough. Because it's literally, let's take Bloodborne. Blup, blup. There we go. Uh, oh crap, come on, I thought I was gonna be able to rush in at that point, but I was wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah? And then, oh, come on. There you go. And then finish them off. Those guys are tough. Those actual samurai are pretty stinking tough. I'm not gonna lie. But, um, it's like someone said, let's take Bloodborne. Let's, uh. Ah, crap, they both noticed me. And they both got long range weapons, and one of them's an actual samurai. Oh! Whoa. Oh. Hold on. Oh, yep, there we go. Thank goodness during those finishers I appear to be safe. That guy's still alive, isn't he? Son of a gun. Rush him. Drop him. He's not down yet. Turn up. Oh. oh, no, no, no. I wanted to back up. I wanted to back up. Oh, okay. Now I'll just boink. I don't know what you just said, but you're dead, so... Whatever it was didn't amount to much, man. But it's like someone took Bloodborne. Let me try and finish my thought. And then just sped it up. Oh wait, is that one better? Oh, it is. Okay, so here's the downside. Weapons have familiarity, and when they have familiarity, that makes them stronger. The problem is, though, you want to get better weapons. It has a bigger threshold of familiarity, and the more you use it, the better it is. And it's Definitely better, but now I lose that familiarity. Which really sucks, but it's kind of cool, conceptually. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around a little bit. Just kind of be a little sneaky. A little sneaky person. Yep. There's the samurai. Now I'm gonna get him. Ah! Oh, he's not a samurai. No, he's just, an, he's just a normal dude. Nah! Oh, crap. <laughs> Ah, crap. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna rush you because you weren't watching your stamina. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me do a finisher. There you go. There you go. Have fun with that, buddy boy. Oh. Let's see if this backs that. Oh no 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 no. Okay, there we go. Oh good. Oh, that's with that's with heavy armor. Yeah, it's just like it's faster. It's um, let's get some medium. That's heavy. I don't want it. That's um, kind of like organize this mess. Oh, there we go. So rarity. Uh, order by type. That that works. Um, order no order by type. There you go. I want that one. And then yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then uh, yeah, it's fine. But it's just faster, there's combos, there's a ton more items. It's really cool to see what they did. Cause like, um you know, you don't wanna you don't want a game that just like hangs off of Dark Souls the entire time and it's just like, oh what is it? Oh well. Sweet. Like, oh what is it? Oh it's Dark Souls. Well, you know, what does it bring to the table? What is it oh wow, I got a lot of stuff actually. Uh how to organize this. Uh, temporarily raises familiarity. Uh, we need to go. That's pretty cool. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, so you can just be like, this point, like come back to this point. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, uh, soul harvested from salt field, traditionally used to purify defilement. When you use it, comes a large amount of key damage to nearby yokai. What the crap is yokai? Uh, charge a gunpowder wrapped in Japanese paper by Ninja Proficient, blah blah, it's a bomb, got it. And then those are monies, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's faster, there's combos, it's super reactionary. What the, oh, I remember what that is. Okay. So... It's like fish. Oh crap! So this is a yokai. It's a demon. Ah oh, god, they're tough. I'm not gonna lie, these guys are tough. They're like super strong. They they hit like a truck, and I want to show you what that field does to me. First, I gotta get away from it. So check out my stamina, right? It does not regenerate. Well, okay, it does regenerate, but it's a lot slower. So that's what they do. They can make those. Oh. Hey, bro. They can make those fields, and they can just screw you up so fast. But guess what I can do? Boom, son. I got this, which is like your weakness. Yep, and there. That's like your... Oh. There you go. So that's your, like, anti-yokai weapon. It's awesome. I love it. It's so much fun. And you can see that up top, it's like... Oh, there we go. Sweet. Oh, great! Everything's on fire! Nice! We actually missed an area, so I plan on going back, but, um, yeah. Uh, let's just run back, yeah, screw it. Then go over here. Let's see, there we go. It's all good. I'm surprised I haven't found more, um... Oh, crap! <laughs> not, uh, not people. I know you guys probably thought I was gonna say people, but, um, there you go. I don't got any bows. What the heck? I meant them Kodomos. Where are my Kodomo bros? Where are my Kodomos? I love you, Kodomos! If I don't find them all, I'm coming back to this level. Whether it's off camera or on camera, I'm... I'm coming back to this level. Because I love those little guys. They're so cute. But, um... As I can never retain a thought... It's very... It's very combat heavy. It's very reactionary. 
It's super fast paced. Fast paced is an understatement of just how this game acts, and I love it. Oh crap, what, what's going on? I heard scary noise, that's all I know. I heard scary noise. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, dude. So what I was talking about is like as you do attacks and you see that like little light, if you just spam L1, you can um... Yeah, there it is. There's a dude. So, as you spam L1, if you time it right, blah, 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 you can just like get your stamina back immediately, which is like really useful. And you eventually just learn to start spamming it. Constantly. Just don't, never stop spamming. <laughs> That's a dude with the bow, isn't it? Son of a gun's a dude with the bow. Well, I'm just gonna ignore that guy then and just find a way around and I can kill that guy up there. In the world? You guys heard that, right? It's a little skittering. It is weird. Yeah, whatevs. Uh, ba 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 ba. And, um, you'll notice I, like, pick up a ton of items. Weird. But, um, you'll, you'll notice that, like, I'll pick up a lot of gear and I just won't look at it. What? Oh! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? Okay. There we go. All good. Oh, I want that. Well, I don't even know what it is, but I want it. Uh, fire amulet. I think that's the, um... Uh, okay, so let's- can we just organize this by type? Thank you. Um... Imbues are right with the power of fire when used. With, when all your mages apply their mystical techniques to the amulet, they fuse with fire. Do that yeah, sweet, whatever. Give me the bombs. Thank you. So now I can hit triangle and you can see I can like switch between those. It's pretty sweet. So, go over here. Yeah, head back and then I have to go back up here. There we go, so I can get over there so I can get towards that archer. That archer is going to screw me up if I let him. Like this guy! Oh. Son of a gun, I can't break his stamina. That is one thing about this weapon. It is not good at breaking stamina. Like, the little meat grinder can, like, really lay on hurt, but, um... Ah, oh. suck it! And then I'm gonna rush over and stun you! Grab all this... Someone else noticed me. Okay. Blah, 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 Suck it. So, you'll notice I'm, like, kind of, like, I get a lot of stuff, and then I just ignore it. Okay, good. Nothing back here. And then I just like ignore it. Between episodes is when I'll go through and I'll fine tune and I'll be like, give me this. And I'll be like, what is the best for my stuff? And it's when I'll like level up and things. And there's other things I'll do in between episodes I'll talk about. Blah, 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 blah. But for now, yeah, like I'll tell you guys why I changed everything. It's just, oh. Uh, eh <laughs> And then I love that combo. It's just spamming light until that um the swirling runs out and then spamming heavy. It's so nice. But yeah, like all the weapons have little combos like that. It's so cool. I cannot stay on subject for the life of me, can I? I really can't. It's like 80 D times 50. Uh go over here. As I'm like trying to like see all my surroundings and like make sure I get everything. And... Ooh, that's like a rare axe that I'll never use because I don't use axes. I'll go over here and then up here. These woods are getting kind of creepy though. I think there's a path over here. Now, I just noticed how much this rock face really looks like scales. It's kind of freaky actually. But yeah, it's me that cannot stand subject to wrap them all up the band over there. I'll do a lot of like tweaking off camera. I'll um, just game it. 
What the crap? What the crap? What the crap? What the crap? Problem solved. So they're they're like Yokai, but they're weaker, I guess. Yeah, suck it. What you gonna do now? What you gonna do now, son? What you gonna do now? That's what you're gonna do. You gotta puke on the ground like crazy. Yeah, rock. Look, this game's awesome and I love it. And uh what is the other subjects? Oh yeah, Kadomo! Hey little buddy! I love you! I think you can um I think you can <laughs> my voice. I think you can get um something. Skill customization. Oh, I don't have anything in magic yet with that. Oh, oh, it's over here. Okay. Um, Omnio, somewhere around here. So, um, let's just, just let's just start talking about this. So, in Dark Souls, uh, divination. You need this. <laughs> this is so nice. Um. Uses them and increases the multiplier for. Oh, sweet. Um, is that it? Yeah. Those things are so nice. So, Ninjutsu and Omnyo, which I didn't understand in the. Oh, whoa, crap, crap, crap. Sorry, 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 sorry. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I, I apologize. Be cool, bro. I think we're cool. Yeah, we're cool, bro. We're cool. Um, oh, wait, is this. Oh, yeah! Nice flip. And then shoot doo doop. Gotta be really careful about this. <laughs> uh shoot down. And then this is like that little area that we found earlier. Which is pretty sweet. So in Dark Souls games, they have a specific slot for magic. And they're like, alright, you know, use the right item, like have the right item, use it, and you'll use this spell. And it recharges every time you go to the bonfire, which is pretty simple. It makes sense. Oh, she, she the weapon. Okay, sweet. Whatever. Like, and that's just how it works. It's pretty simple and straightforward. It may take you a second to be like, "Why can't I use you know magic?" It's like, well, because you ran out of ammo, essentially. Have I been here before? I don't know, like, I'm killing everything on the first try, so... I'll just assume... Wait, hold on, what did that say? I died here. Yep, so that's a dude. So, somewhere in the beginning, I'm sure, like, um... On my grave... Like, where I died, I'm probably, like, this samurai that people can fight, and I think that's really cool. Um... God, that's pretty. This game is so pretty. Oh, sweet. So, here's uh, another shrine, but I don't want to use it. I should use it, though, actually. Oh, crap! <laughs> uh, nah, just take care of it. Oh, 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 careful, careful, careful. Okay. I'm, like, almost back to where I was. Actually, I am back to where I was. Sweet. Actually, yeah, there's no reason I can't use that shrine. Son of a gun, I that was on accident. But... I got some stuff out of it, which I'm... what? Oh, I'm hearing the shrine, that says. Like, what's that sound? But that little, like, tingling is shrine. So I'm just gonna run back over here. And here I am. It's all good. So magic in this game... Basically, is, um... Oh yeah, I'm offline. I remember I did that. Um, so you go to level up, and let's say you want to get more magic. So you level up your Omnia. Boom. So I think it's... Yeah, there it is. Down there where it says uh, pointing arrow. Omnia magic power, which makes sense. You get more powerful with it. And capacity and skill points. So it's just like, hey, because you leveled up your magic, you get three skill points to throw around. And you're like, oh, great, okay. And that's just how it works. It, it's pretty great. Or the other thing, let's see, um, affects life, so more health and poison resistance, okay. And all, all the things affect specific weapons, so for me with my Kusarigama, let's see, um, I don't think anything directly affects Kusarigama, but I think it's technically dexterity, so I'm building myself to be a ninja, 
essentially. So we got um, strength, which is heavier, how much weight you can carry, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, so there's effects life and resistance, this is like, um, they all increase health no matter what. But it's like, here's 50 health, and then here's 35 health. Okay. Um, effects, how much stamina you have, heavier weapons, technical weapons, which is what I use. Yeah, so I'm like gonna be pure skill and dexterity. And then your spirit affects uh, the power of your guardian spirit, which if I go here, you can see like, um, this isn't specific to guardian spirits, it's like, just your attunement with them in the first place. And the more you level them up, so if I get to spirit level 11, I get, um, wait for it to cycle through. You get life recovery finished using a living weapon. So, yeah, you use your living weapon and you can get healed. And you saw how quickly that thing charged back up, so... And it has its own health bar and stuff, and it's really cool. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And, like, you can go here and, like, check all this stuff. Like, tenacity. Yeah. There's so much in this game, and it's awesome. And, like, um... I'll receive Kodama Blessing. I want the Elixir. I want that way more. And I want to level up a ton, because I have a lot of money. I might as well. So, um, let's get uh, two in there, two in there. And then we'll be good. And I actually have enough if I go to my... My items. If Oh, a uh, lock of a uh, blah blah blah, two samurai skill points. And then if I go down here, I can just say, like, uh... Use all. Go here. Use all. Organize by, uh, organize by type. Switch out. Like this is kind. Of, this is the stuff I'm talking about. That'll be doing off camera mostly. Yeah, that'll be good. Going here. Organize by type. I still got the best one that I want. Range weapon. Got a longbow. Accessory, I only got two, so might as well put them both on. Uh, that's heavy. Uh, that's heavy, or that's light. I'd rather not have that. Uh, why am I wearing a heavy one? I thought I had this one. It's a lot better. Oh, wait, strength required six. Ah, crap, I need more strength. Um, should have enough to level up again, though. Uh, yeah, at least one level. It's pretty sweet. Um, it said I need more strength, so might as well. Just to be, just to be good on my armor. Okay, and then, once again, I want to point out. <laughs> once again, I just want to point out. This is stuff they don't explain to you. Oh, okay, maybe if you went to the, um, the, no, wait, I remember doing the tutorial levels and I'll, they only taught it in very basic terms. And I said, screw that, I don't want to take time for that. So I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm a smarty pants, I can do what I want. All right, but this is the one I wanted. Allows you to prepare two divination tiles and using your strength, using them strengthens your compass and increases your detection abilities. This thing is the bomb diggity. Just gonna tell you that right now. The reason it is the bomb diggity is because it can find Kodoma. Nutshell, it finds Kodomo, and they pop up as little green things on the map, and you just run over to them as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, and um, other than that, though, they work just like items. Uh, yeah, they're just items. So yes, there's uh, lightning talismans, wind talismans, earth talismans. And they all have different abilities, which, um, let me go over super quick. Fire is more damage, and just lights enemy on fire. Water makes you more susceptible to think other things, like to be weak against. Wind, I think, makes it so you're easier to, you're, it's easier for you to dodge them. Lightning, I think, paralyzes them, which just makes them go like, zzz, zzz, all the time. And earth makes them heavier. I want to say that's, that's everything. And then, you just get... All these cool things, and I love it so much. Cause yeah, there's like 
There is a heavy learning curve. Oh yeah, just like a temporary, what should we call it? Oh yeah, then you have Jutsu Koss, which is another painful thing. And Jutsu Koss is basic, yeah, I'll show you. Uh, so I go here, and I'm like, well now, yep, I'm ready Jutsu, so I go over here. And I'm like, man, I want my Omnio magic. And they say, well, your Omnio capacity is six, and this costs three. But now, oh, I can assign shortcuts. Uh, set as shortcut. Oh, I can replace it. Um, I'll set it down here. So now I have this item that refills every time I come here. It's pretty sweet. And that's it. Like. Yo, know, you don't need a special item to use them, um, you don't need to, like, have, like, a teacher or anything, you just level up, gain it, and use it like any other item, and I think that's really cool, personally. And, um, I probably should pause for a second as I go through and figure out which ones I want initially. God, there's so many of these, I forgot about that. I don't like how you can see, like, um, you- I don't like how you can see the stuff at the end, I think that's kind of unfortunate. But still, it's so cool, all these different things. And like, um, sum them up in a nutshell. Ah, there's so many. There are so many. I, I just have to, oh, there we go. Allows you to ready four Makabishi. These are the best, I love these. Um, we have to get the binding shells, uh, which aren't that great, to be honest. Oh, I can't do it. I need a mission. Dang it. Uh... Uh... Where's the shuriken? I guess I'll take that. And then kunai are pretty great. I could just hang on to them, but um... What are things like... I guess that's not bad, doing that. So, generally speaking, ninjutsu focuses on like guns and bows and weapons that are trickery. It's like range, it's weird boosts, it's weird detriments, stuff like that. And um, Omnio, or I'm just gonna call it magic because that's what it is, focuses more on um, let's get antitoxin pills because that's pretty fantastic. And then um, paralysis pills because why not? Anti-paralysis pills rather. And, uh, sure, power boost. Power boost pills, why not? And then I go to... Oh, wait, I have more magic ones. Dang it. But, okay, so the magic ones... Actually, bear right back. So I just two killed two people. To, I just two killed people. I just killed two people to get a level. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So, to sum them up though in a nutshell... Uh... Uh, there's so many that eventually you just start throwing them around. Like, there might be specific things you want, but for the most part, you just start throwing them around after a little bit. Oh, and then, um, magic. So magic hits directly and it boosts your weapons, while ninjutsu is indirectly. And it boosts, like, ranged attacks. It's basically nutshell it. So, if I wanted something, I like the idea of slowing people down. I like that idea a lot, so I'm gonna want that. And then, as I keep burping on camera, first is Yokai, that's pretty good. I... nah. Oasis is pretty good, it looks like cause allies and range are to cover health. Being able to heal is pretty great, like even more. Increases Omnio, I like that. And then, um... Oh, I guess this costs two. Yeah, I only got one. I get more Talismans, but that assumes I actually use them. Uh... Water, I think, worked really well. And then I gotta go over here. But see, there's just so much stuff! And it's really... It's really intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. It's super intimidating at first, but then you actually start like, um... Ah, oh, crap. You start like reading into it and you're like, okay, so this does this, and this does this. And before you know it, you're like, stringing them all together like it's nothing. And it's fantastic. 
now I got all these, so, um, I only got enough to get Shuriken and Kunai. So, uh, let me optimize my stuff. Oh, I forgot I have a bow. How do I use the bow? Oh, there we go! Oh, yeah! How do I disengage the bow? How do I... How do I turn off? Uh, if I just hold it? Oh, yeah, that's right, you have to, like, actually hit R1. But I don't want to waste them. Alright, so, there's so much stuff, and it's so cool, and I love it. But now comes the end of the episode. However, as we noticed before, I'm- Oh, crap. <laughs> every time, man. Every time you sneak up on me, you sneaky devil. However, something I want to do real quick, and I want to do it with you guys just to kind of, like, demonstrate it, is we know that area is the next area. All this is bonus. So, I turn this on, and now you can see on the map, I can see treasure and stuff. I that probably would have broke my legs. But that's okay. I can see enemies, I can see all sorts of things. I think I screwed the pooch. What I'm looking for are little green dots. So real quick, I'm gonna sprint through like an absolute idiot. Looking for green dots. Ready? Go! I see one! I see one! I see one! I see one! Where is it? I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I saw it. It's right over there. It's right in there. So you just gotta turn around. Oh, no, I can't. I can't get him. I can't get him. Uh, sheath your weapon. Sheath your weapon, and they go, yeah. And you're like, get home, little guy. And he's like, you got it. And they're walking away, so that's all good. The divination tablets actually last for a pretty long time. Pretty great. There's this whole little area I didn't know about. That had Nishi Hironoshan, which probably would have get me something pretty cool. Okay. Oh, the building's on fire. I didn't even notice. Alright, and sprint this way! There's treasure right there that I could have gotten. Oh, well. On a side note, I really appreciate how in this game, yes, there are guys that aggro you, but there are very few that, like, follow you to the ends of the earth, you know what I mean? And then I'll do my little hold circle move faster thing. Like, yeah, there's dudes, and yeah, it's scary, but they're not, like, hunting me down relentlessly. They follow me for a little bit, and then they're like, oh, he's gone, and then they stop. And that's the end of it. Which, sure, if I get caught up in their attacks, it's gonna be pretty bad. Just do it, do it, do it, do it. Sure, if I get caught up in the attacks, it's gonna be pretty bad, but for the most part, I'm fine. Oh, there's another one over there. There's another one over there, and I need him. There's another one over there. Come on. So I just get to the little guy, guide him home. They're like, how do I get over there? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> they figured it out. Ow. Switch. Dodge like a champ, pray, pray, and they all go away. It's pretty fantastic. And then we can just. Oop. I just accidentally used it. And I go. Blah, 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 blah. Boom, get wrecked. And now I can go back to over here where I saw this. And nab it. So yeah, the divination is definitely like one of the more useful ones. Blah, 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 blah. Just because it gives you that um that ability to look around. And since you can refill at any shrine, it's really easy to clear an area and then just sprint through, like looking for everything. And since it's also not based on like line of sight, it's also really useful because you can go to a big area like this, which is really confined, and just be able to go, okay, there's one there, 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 and there. And I love it. So this episode is a lot of me blathering. Just, just ridiculously. But now hopefully, now hopefully I properly explained how everything works. <laughs> Did I really? No. Not at all. Dude, city's on fire. Or town, rather. Why is the town on fire? But I got a bow and that makes me pretty happy. I hunja. So, um... Okay. Blah! There, did it. 
Done. I explained all of Neo and what it is. It's Bloodborne, but with combos and items. It's gonna be great. So on the next episode, we're gonna hunt through here. Question of the day. Did I properly explain everything? And if you're curious on anything, put it in the comments. Or did I just blather on too quickly while once again sprinting through a village? I know, leave it up to you. So thanks for watching, everyone. Leave a like, comment below. Now see you then. But it's okay. I'm okay. You're okay. And that guy with the axe. I don't, I don't know. He's okay. Yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for choking me out, Pog. I'm sorry, I think I freaking know how to do my job, Oswald. Uh,